Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of History Talk. So, in the past, our History Talk episodes have always been more things in the past and how does it benefit me in the present or us in the present, depending on the circumstance. Well, today's History Talk is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm going to be talking about a very specific event that happened between the two artists that are in the title. Queen, well, three artists now that I think about it, Queen and David Bowie and Vanilla Ice. Now, not, for some weird reason, I've come across a lot of people who don't know who this is. If you don't, there are three artists from the 1980s. Some, uh, one, and they kind of moved on through the 90s as well, at least the early 90s as far as I know. But in this particular video, something happened between... I'm talking about something that happened between the two. In 1981, there was a song released by Queen and David Bowie called um, Under Pressure. Great song. Uh, it's to a very large degree, especially nowadays, relatable. In fact, a big fact about the 1980s is that all, all, pretty much every artist who sang something either wrote it themselves or co-wrote it. Like what happened there. Come 1990, or 1989, late, late 89, early 90, the band slash group Vanilla Ice decides to write a parody of that song called Ice Ice Baby. And they do it without any kind of consent from the original artists. Nowadays, it's a no-brainer. Do that and you're screwed. You're going to be in big, big trouble. Back then, it was a thing, but it wasn't as big of a problem up until that song was written. Queen and David Bowie put up a lawsuit against Vanilla Ice for doing so. And that's when the copyright law really started to get emphasized and it got a lot more attention than it used to. Nowadays, you 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 do one thing and you're either pirating if you're like copying like film or something, or, yeah, you're basically stealing if you take the notes of a song without consent. One or the other, though. Why did I decide to talk about this? It was a short event, to discussion and all that, but why would I talk about something like this? Well, I was thinking about like the different music from back then, and I listened to a lot of 80s songs. Um, it can vary from... Like things like those two bands. Uh, who am I kidding? I don't listen to Vanilla Ice. I do listen to Queen and David Bowie, though. It can vary from those two bands. It could bounce over to artists like uh, Oingo Boingo. Um, Danny Elfman, if you don't know who Oingo Boingo is, it's literally the same founder. That Danny Elfman, uh, right, music musician who usually does nowadays stuff for movies, he founded that band. But regardless, uh, I can vary from those kind of things over to things like Elton John. Um, th th there are quite a few things that I listen to. But regardless, why did this catch my interest? When I was thinking about that kind of stuff, there's one artist from the 80s who came to mind who kind of made me think of it. That artist was Weird Al Yankovic, who was basically the opposite side of the spectrum. He was the one person who, apparently, America decided, yeah, you don't have to abide by it, but he did it anyway. He, he America decided, wow, his parodies are so good, and eh, he doesn't have to follow the copyright law, but he does it anyway. And that's something that's very commendable. And when, when I started thinking of that, my brain immediately goes, yeah, I like Vanilla Ice. <laughs> like 
it's a big pay when you do have to um, make it, like make a parody of using another individual's music, or at least another variant of it. You do have to pay quite a bit to be able to do that. Um, at least, especially nowadays. Back then, it still was the case, just it wasn't as noticed. And yet, what's sad, and this is why I'm talking about it, what is sad to me is the fact that it feels like Vanilla Ice didn't pay any heed to that concept at all. They're like, oh, nah, it's just, it'll be fine. It, I don't know. Personal opinion, I just, it's not a biased thing. I don't mind the band Vanilla Ice. I don't like them as much as others, but I don't mind them. And, I mean, Queen, I don't listen to much of their music either, uh, but... So it's not really a biased decision. It's just law. And even then, it was it's still kind of frowned upon to just go out and ste like steal music. I, this has probably been going on. I th I don't I can't give a direct date on it, but I guess to me if you're going to use another person's tune, just ask. It's really not that hard to do. Either that, or just come up with a tune of your own. I don't know. Call this a tangent. Call it a rant. Call it uh, whatever you like. Call it a comparison, but yeah. This was a little bit... I, it was an experiment on a little bit of a different type of episode of History Talk. I wanted to give it a shot just to see how it went. Um, I It's pretty much telling exactly the events rather than... You know, and a comparison to it, rather than, you know, how it impacts me kind of thing. What did you guys think of this particular episode? Do you think I should do some... Uh, well, whether it's me or not, I guess. I'm so used to saying I because of the past few years before this one. Um, what, Do you guys think we should keep doing episodes like this one where we're just telling the events of the past and that's about it when we do these? Or do you think we should stick to form with the past ten episodes before this one um, where it's still compared to why it impacts us now. Let us know in the comments below. This particular, as again, as I said before, this particular episode was more of an experiment than anything else, but hey, if you didn't know about this particular lawsuit, there you go, you just learned something about the 1980s, 19, early, late 80s, early 90s. Anyway, gonna leave this episode here. Thanks for tuning into this episode of History Talk, guys. Uh, let us know your suggestions in the comments below, along with anything that you might have in thought to this particular video. Again, as well as let us know if you like this form of history talk. Um, if not, that is fine. We can always go back to what we were doing before. Thanks again, guys. If you like this video, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. And why not check out the suggestions on the side of my head? One of them being YouTube just telling you, hey, why not check this out? It suits your interests more than the other one going, hey, this is the rest, the other one will be like the rest of the playlist for this particular series. In the meantime, I'm going to have. Thanks for tuning in again, guys. We hope to see you all in another video. Bye for now.